Welcome ladies and gentlemen of the world, my name is Angel and today I am finally playing Fran Brow. Fran Bow, right? That's how you pronounce it, right? Frambo, Fran Bow, I don't know. <sighs> Alright, y'all smell wonderful again today, like always. Um, so I've kind of played this myself a little bit because I tried to record this the first time and for some strange reason my uh, video capture didn't record the way I was supposed to and it turned out to show just a gray screen so my sister and I are messing around with it and uh, it seems to be okay when I don't have it in full screen but just enough so I can have it still here um, so like I said I have played it a little bit before and that is so creepy that her eyes follow the thing so we're just gonna go for a new game Yes, I want to overwrite my current game. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. That's very creepy. I see my parents. They look happy. Aw. So cute. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. He's a kitty. Dark as the deepest night. Mr. Midnight. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. That's very sad. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Aww. We are having so much fun. Hey, fun. It's Monday night and I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Don't like that. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. It scares me too! Suddenly I hear something. Voices. It's my mom. Screaming. I want to know what is wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. Uh-oh. Go closer. And closer. Mm -mm. Mm. Mom? Dad? I'm not screaming for blood or anything, but... Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? This is so sad. sad. Oh, at least Mr. Midnight's here to comfort me. Or not. Maybe. No. He's just gonna run away. Friend. Please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Three. Friend, how do you feel? <clears throat> I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. I'm fine, I guess. Fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer, want to go home. Uh, I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I'll find my cat and the killer. Nobody does anything. Psh, the police are useless. The 
police are doing nothing. Don't be so negative. Surely we will get answers soon. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? Oh, really? Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. I don't like this guy. This guy is not okay in my book. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. It's a note. Use. Oh. I forgot how this- I forgot the controls already. Dearest friend, here is a purse. Here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking of you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you will always keep this purse and give it- and give it in all the other things you find to a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. This is very true. Love and Grace. She is worried about you. Hold on a second. Sorry, it's my daddy. He's worried about me. Ooh, I turned off my stopwatch. Okay, there we go. Sorry, my daddy was worried about me. She's worried about you, Aunt Grace. I'm worried too. I'm worried too. I'm worried too because I'm crazy and I'm still here. Stop it. You are out of control, young lady. Away! So tired of all this. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? Away! It's called Deutine. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we are ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dune? Nothing. Actually, same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't feel good. Oh no! Take her back to her room! Yeah! Please! And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. It's creepy as all heck. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Friend, wake up. It's Mr. Midnight. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Chapter One My Sober Day. Okay, oh, okay, I think I'm playing now. Yay, I'm awake. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Alrighty, so we're going to play the game now. That only took nine minutes. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Okay. Psycho what? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Game friend, Bell. 
Dagenhart? I guess that's been a age 10. She's only 10 years old. A little girl, 10 years old, going through this hellhole. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. Bow Darjan family tragedy details treatment. Dr. Marshall Dearn has tried different medicines and all have been canceled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. Side effects. Effects affecting the one side of me, maybe? Maybe. Oh, oh, holy moly, something fell. Yeah, the curtain did. Oh, I guess I broke the curtain. Now I can look outside. Handy hook. Just play pirate later. That clown is creepy. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it a defense tower? Um, I guess it's my way out. Okay. It's over here. Red and Tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? How are you? Everybody says I'm sick. They're just stupid. They're always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. Is there- there's a key inside. There's a key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Who's him? All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. Nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Oh, so sad. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. So sad. No, I won't let that monster stop me. What's here? Oh, a secret box. Shh. This key will certainly open something. Yeah, I know what it is. Alrighty, let's see. It opens this thing, I think. It opens this drawer. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Yeah. This. Yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Oh. That's very sad. The drawer is now empty. Oh, friend, you're awake. Good. Yes. Now leave, I'm working. Lady nurse, I did something. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Not now, phone. 
curious. Yes, but the nurse is still inside the room. Alright. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtain up? No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Well. I like how that doesn't even match. Okay. Now she's out of the room. Ooh, band-aids. Those are good. I'll keep these patched to stop blood. Uh, violent trauma can have greater impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have a mild to severe air defects and some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these safe... <coughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or feeling not safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing on the brain... Trauma is where the doctors love to say. What's this? Oh, I gotta remember. I think I have to remember this code. <sighs> I think it's hide. I believe anyway. Hide. Find out. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! Alright. Pills are inside, I know I have to craft code. Eight. Oh crap, now I have to remember the code. Oh shit. H. I. D. E. Okay. I got it, 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 I got it. I got it. Got it. The pills! Kitty told me this would help me. These would help me. Sorry, I can't read, I just got off work. Okay, take the pills. And... I love this, I have 17 minutes, so I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to show you what these pills do if you haven't already seen this. This is the creepiest thing I have ever seen in a game, but it's absolutely fantastic. I know I need this. Excuse me, lady nurse, may this? This may be very useful. Alrighty, so that does it for this episode of Franbo. I will pick it up here in the next episode, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button. Didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Um, comment down below what you want to see. No spoilers. Please, no spoilers. I haven't seen this game yet, and I've only gotten so far. I haven't even left the asylum the last time I got, to, it got this far, so... Please, no spoilers. I'd rather not know anything about this game I actually go through. But, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will say all of y'all in the next video. Bye! Uh, a key! Hello. When the rose questioned, uh, yeah, so will you, uh, away. Okay. Don't know some of the words. <laughs> God, I gotta. Ah! Nope, 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 nope.